what's going on guys happy halloween it's your old pal chh and listen i love halloween the movies i love michael myers but it's nobody's fault it's me but when i burn myself out the sight of michael myers makes me want to vomit in a bag i just get burnt out quick on it uh, so with that being said, I'm, I'm taking you guys through my Friday the 13th home video collection today on Halloween because that's what we're going to do. So I, I do hope, I'll try to put this video out a little bit earlier in the day because, you know, if you watch this on the day, happy Halloween, of course, I want you to enjoy, enjoy your day. And later this afternoon today, maybe around 435 before people start going to trick or treat and stuff, I'm going to do a round of Friday the 13th live on the channel on uh, my PlayStation 4 or 5. Maybe I'll try it on my 5. But I'm going to do that today. But guys, have a seat, relax, you know, get yourself some candy. I'm going through VHS, beta tape, CED, laser disc, Blu-ray, DVD, 4K. We're going to go all through it. Tell you some great stories, look at some great pieces of physical media. Again, happy Halloween. I love you guys. We're going completely out of order with old VHS tapes. The first one we're looking at, guys, the Special Collector's Edition VHS, Jason Goes Straight to Hell. Uh, it actually says Special Collector's Edition right there, too. Um, I used to see this VHS tape in Blockbuster and on the shelves all the time, and it was such a giant part of my childhood, man. This was the first image I ever had of the series, was this right here. I was very little. And to say it scared the crap out of me was an, would be an understatement. It terrified me. It made me lose sight of myself. Who am I kidding? Next up is a fake Friday the 13th Part 3 VHS clamshell that I got from a convention. Next up we have procured a VHS of the original. The original Friday the 13th, which I think if, if, if Jason Takes Manhattan isn't the greatest poster in the franchise, I gotta say I think it's the original. Thank you Alexis for hooking me up with this copy, by the way. Uh, classic. I just love that artwork. And I wonder if this is a 94 tape or if this... Yeah, this is a 94 tape. So, this is not the original run of the VHS. This is the 94 version. They re-released these in 94, um, but they looked identical to the original releases. Uh, it wasn't until the late 90s that they reissued them and used new different kind of artwork. This is the best artwork right here. So, um, I don't know if these 94 tapes are, are um, SP or not. SP mode. I don't think so. I think these are still nice VHS tapes. This is a Japanese Friday the 13th Part 5 VHS. Look at that. I bet you dig that. Uh, I think this plays PAL. No, it might be NTSC. I can't remember. I want to say it didn't play in my player. Like it played funky. Um, but the artwork on that is sick. Look at that. Very cool. I got this on eBay years ago. Yeah, part five. I love part five. I, it seems like you guys enjoy those videos where I take a movie and I just talk about it. Like I did that for part seven not long ago. You know, the, the ambition of Friday 13 part seven. It seems like you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to do that. It seems like a lot of you guys requested one on Part 5. I'm going to do that next. Here's a VHS tape for Part 5. Very faded with the 299 sticker on it. Uh, this one still has the shrink wrap on it. And it was just cut at the bottom. So. Can I even get the VHS tape out? No, I can't. Don't worry. The laser disc is a lot cooler than this. And yes, I have all the laser discs and then some. Here's a part four VHS. This is an original. Yeah, this is I think this is one of the first pressing VHS tapes. The uniformity of those Friday the thirteenth VHS tapes is great. You get the poster on the front, you know, they're white bindings, and then the back has a couple pictures and then a bio. All of them. I love that. I, I adore I adored that. Here's a part seven I bought off of Goodwill's Amazon store. I'm not even kidding. I went to Amazon and I looked up Friday the 13th part seven VHS and it said sold by through Goodwill. This is a Goodwill part seven VHS tape in a really hard, nice VHS case that came with a drama sticker on it. 
It even clamps right here so the tape can't come out. Part 7, man. I'm telling you guys, Part seven's good. It, it really is good. Guys, this is... Uh, I'll do the last VHS tape. Here's a clamshell. Jason takes Manhattan. And guys, if you don't know, I have a full torso. Like, from the waist up, Jason takes Manhattan showing up to my house. It's shipping this week. Sometime this week, which means I should have it sometime next week. It's basically life-size. It's from his waist to his head. No arms. It's a torso. It's going to be insane. You guys, there's jaws are going to drop when you see it. Uh, with that being said, this is the Part 8. This is a 89 VHS. Yeah, original run VHS. Very cool. Wait till you, wait till you see the Japanese laser disc. You guys are going to... You don't, you, you don't even know. And then we're going to look at the CEDs. I got a lot. This video is going to be long. I hope you like Friday the 13th. Here is the Friday the 13th Part 1 Laserdisc Extended Play. Now, my version, or my copy, has what's called Laser Rot. It's basically the glue and binding inside of the Laserdisc starts to detach or deteriorate, and the image starts to lose its... It starts to lose the image. Uh, I'd have to show you what it looks like if I had a player that works, but I do, have, I do in fact, have Laser Rot on my Part 1. be a cold day in hell part two you just get a lot more art and image on the laser disc versions which I love look at all the pictures on the back too they double up the pictures great pictures back there part three a beautiful shower image reminds me of the psycho box set that just came out Mm -mm -mm. Boy, I tell you. Uh, one of the greatest slasher films ever made, guys. Friday the 13th, final chapter. Psh, you kidding me? This is. Quit playing. Quit playing. Love it. Now, I've watched all these on my laser displayer. Um, unfortunately, it's just they're getting very expensive and my player died. Here's part five. Look, just classic. I need to get a tattoo of that. Classic. Oh, look at that. You guys are right. I am gonna do a video on part five. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about why I think it connects to people. I really am. I think. I, I think I've. I think I figured it out. I've cracked the code on Friday the Thirteenth: A New Beginning. Jason lives. Laser disc. Great laser. Great beautiful artwork on this. I love the the blues. You got the tombstone right there. You can see the gate right here. It's kind of you know. It's kind of got some opacity to it, but you can see the gate. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the pictures on the back of that. This is history right here, guys. Like, this is history. You know, these movies are... Define the generation. Define the decade. Like, the 80s belong to Friday the 13th and Freddy. Let's just... Not Halloween. Look at that. It's part seven. This one's beautiful. This one's in really good shape, too, as you can tell. I keep my laser just... They stay inside, controlled temperature. It's beautiful. Look how look how vibrant the the red is on here too. I mean, it's just it's been out of sun, you know. Same with my part eight. My part eight's a nine and a half out of ten condition. Just I mean, this the shrink wrap. I mean, the wrap over it is kind of dingy looking, but I'm telling you, it's it's just cool. Look at the art. You get more of the picture. Look at the pictures on the back. You get that great shot of Jason right there. He's taking out uh, Julius. Busting through the glass doors, grabbing Rennie. There's the, uh, oh, you kidding me? This movie really is a lifestyle. You either get it or you don't. Some guys got it, some guys don't. I got it. You feel me on that? Yeah, you guys are going to like this. This is, in fact, a Japanese Jason Takes Manhattan laser disc. This is an Obi strip. Now, there's a lot of rumor and speculation about what these were supposed to be. Some people claim that the stores would take it off to let them know what inventory they've sold. But I don't know. That just sounds kind of weird. I feel like this was just a hype sticker for Japan. That's how I feel about it. That's what I've also read about it a little bit, too. Um, and if you look at the back, it also... Because, like I said, if you look at the back, it shows the other previous releases that have come out. So, and look at the art on the back of this. Are you kidding me? 
And this is the only time I've ever seen Jason Takes Manhattan in purple. The, the logo in purple. But I mean, oh, look at that. It's just, just gorgeous. So. Like, getting those online, guys, it's very expensive now. I was very lucky. I got into the hobby of Laserdisc before it kind of blew up. It was really, it was really also before like vinyl came back. So, you know, I feel like Laserdisc kind of got pushed up in terms of value because of vinyl. Maybe I'm off on that, but I feel like the timeline's a little similar. And the last Friday the 13th to come out on Laserdisc is, is the great Jason Goes Straight to Hell. Now, guys, I'm telling you, Jason Goes Straight to Hell is truly the last vintage Friday the 13th movie. Movies after 1993 just they're different. If you look at the year 1993, you've got a vast variety of types of filmmaking. It was still the Wild West, but also innovation. Let me just give you three movies. Jurassic Park, Jason Goes Straight to Hell, and the Mario Brothers movie. Now, I love all three of those movies. Think about how bizarre we're talking about. Jurassic Park is a classic that is still an envelope pusher to this day when you see it. Mario Brothers movie is a fever dream that scared kids across the country with these gigantic people in suits with tiny little Goomba head things with sharp razor teeth. And then Jason goes straight to hell. This is truly like the, the, the last... 93 is the year of anything could happen. After that, things kind of became a little bit more, you know, normal. Just think about that. 93, I got to do a video just talking about the year 1993 in movies because it really is insane. Like, that Mario Brothers movie could never happen. Are you kidding me? That could never happen. Oh, by the way, I ordered that 4K from Umbrella. So I'll be doing a video on that when I get that. Guys, these are CED discs. Now, these are vinyl, essentially vinyl records in here. Now, what you do is you take the, you take, you see, you can't pull that out. You would put it into the player. The player somehow grabs and has a function that releases this out. So when you put it in, it's going to eject it out and eject the body out, but the vinyl and thing in here comes out and stays into the player, and it spins like a record. They looked very bad. This was not a great format. Obviously, you can understand how this lost the format wars to Laserdisc. And it, that format died in 1985. The last CED, to, the last Friday the 13th to get a CED was A New Beginning. And the other one that I have is right here, uh, Final Chapter. Shout out to my buddy Sean that I've known for a long time. Just love him to death. Uh, I got this from him. Along with the Part 4 vinyl. Uh, part 4 laser desk, not vinyl. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 got CEDs, guys. Uh, let me grab these DVDs. I didn't grab them from before. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go through these. This is going to be cool. You know, I did that video a while back going over my story with the uh, Paramount 8 um, Special Edition DVDs. And uh, we're going to breeze through these again. Uh, luckily, I've had some friends. Um, I had a couple people hook me up <coughs> with um, slipcover versions. Look at this. We got part two with a slipcover version now. These fell the other day, so they kind of got out of order. So excuse me. Part six does not have a slipcover. But... Look at this, part 7 does. We got the slipcover back on that. If you if you never saw that video that I did a while back, the reason some of these the reason I don't have slipcovers on mine anymore is cuz I was an idiot and I threw them away. I was just a I was a dummy. I didn't know any better. Final chapter. Here's a new beginning, the previous version with no bonus features on it. Here's part 1. With the hype sticker and slipcover. We got Jason Takes Manhattan. Shout out to my buddy Corey. Who remember this? Jason Takes Manhattan with the slipcover and the hype sticker. Look at that. That's so cool. I can't believe I got rid of those. Like, what was I thinking? Excuse me. And here's part three. Look at that. Awesome. So there's those guys pretty cool legendary releases go check out my video on that later on uh and i just share my story with these and you know it was great the comments were great because people shared their stories too of uh, how important those releases were how about this let's look at something cool guys this is a uh this is a german media book free tag der 13 now this is beautiful because look this opens up 
Look at these pictures. Are you kidding me? Now, obviously, I can't read this to you guys. But it's just beautiful. So, I know they have more of these, but they're, they sell out. Like, there's sites like Diabolic that will get these in. They haven't got them in in a while. But they get a very limited stock. And, guys, when I say they sell out, they'd sell out. Um, now, before the Scream Factory box set came out, this this Blu-ray for this movie was, in fact, the best-looking Blu-ray I had seen for uh, Jason Takes Manhattan pre compared to the previous um, Blu-ray that Part 8 had. Now, the Scream Factory one rivaled, if not beat this a little bit. But at the time when I first got this, this looked a little bit better because I always felt like the Blu-ray releases for uh, Friday the 13th before... The uh, Scream Factory box set. They just kind of look like 720p at best, you know. Alright guys, how about a little His Name Was Jason. Now I did a video on this and it was just great seeing everybody show that they had this and how much it meant to them and how much they still enjoy watching it. This is legendary. Legendary His Name Was Jason. Get that documentary if you don't have it. Alright guys, here's one of my favorite releases. The Collection. This is the special edition DVDs in a box set with a lenticular cover. This one I did not get rid of, obviously. And like I said, what's cool about this is, look, like you get splatter facts, fun facts, body counts, box office numbers, you know, budget. It's just so cool. And this is from Paramount, so this has like the right budgets and stuff, you know. Really cool. If you ever see this at a DVD shop, guys, don't don't hesitate to grab it. It's just, to me, that's legendary. I love it to death. I really do. I'm going to have such a fun time putting all this stuff up. Now, this is old school. By, by today's standards, it's old school. Who remembers this? This was the deluxe DVD set with mask. Now, this came in this blue case. Now, my wife got this after we saw Pizzle's video on it years ago. Years ago. You know, it opens up. It's got a tiny little hockey mask in there. And, <laughs> and basically that same DVD case that we just looked at without the lenticular cover over it. It, it does have the 3D glasses in the bottom as well. So uh, this sold out, though. I remember this was a thing. This was a big thing, getting the special version with the uh, the mask. And, uh, you know, that's how Paramount rolled. I have number 29,491 out of 50,000. So, another piece of Friday the 13th history. Got it. Love it. Now, guys, this is a cool piece of uh, Friday the 13th history. And this is fairly recent. You know, so after Scream Factory, and obviously we got the screen, we have a lot more to go. But, you know, when Scream Factory put out the box set, you know, we had, um, we had, uh, Paramount come out and do their own versions of their releases using those remastered 4K scans. And so, you know, a few years ago, they did a Steelbook of Part 1. You know, nice, nice look to that one. Then it's interesting, on Part 2, they went with a matte version. You know, this one's really shiny. And they went matte for Part 2. Which I appreciate that, you know, do some, do a little something different, you know, change it up a little bit. You know, I like that. Great looking 4K scan on part two, by the way, guys, I truly can't tell you. Part three, and they went back to a shiny black on this one. You know. And then the classic, Jason, final chapter. Again, they went back to a shiny, they stayed shiny on that. Jason's body has disappeared from Morgan. I love these so much. This is the greatest. Well, I think a Nightmare on Elm Street is the greatest franchise, but Friday to me, it's it's like it's if you if you put them side to side, you can't tell. You have to microscopically get close to see. But Friday's close. I love Elm Street, but damn it. Um, I don't see a lot of people have this, guys. This is the Friday the Thirteenth remake still book. Look at look at this. I love this. Look, you got the mask on the back and the red. Um, on the inside, you got a really cool shot of Jason. Uh, there's the, you know, the killer cut Blu-ray. Yeah, this came out in like 2019 or 18. I loved it. 
I loved it, but I didn't see a whole lot of people grab this or talk about this release when it came out. So, kind of a shame. Um, but then again, I think it's because it's the remake. I'm vocal minority that I think that the Friday remake is... I think it's better than all of them. I really do. I just think it's a solid, great... A solid, really good remake. You know, it, it doesn't do anything offensive. It's just a good movie. I think Derek does a great job. I like the cast. I think the beginning is definitely the strongest part of the movie, but uh, I think it gets written off too much. And um, that's just my opinion, of course. But I'm a big fan of the remake. I'm a big fan, you know. Uh, speaking of, here's the Killer Cut Blu-ray that I got in 2010 of the movie. I've had this since 2010. You know? Came out in 2009. This is when Blu-rays all had that kind of look at the back, like, you know, trying to promote the format and stuff. And yeah, that's classic. I love this Blu-ray. Uh, look at this. This is when digital copies were on CDs still. Or on discs. Like, this is a digital copy. Look, digital copy. You had to put that in your player to, to uh, use the digital copy. That was before codes and stuff. Wow, I forgot about that. That's cool. Uh-oh. My movies are dropping, y'all. What about the Slasher Collection? you guys remember this? This is the New Line Trio. Obviously, you can see what movies are on here. But I love this. Just absolutely love this. Um, got this in 2010 as well. This came out right after the remake. You know, the physical media kind of got some bumps after the remake came out. Uh, here is a Straggler uh, Friday the 13th DVD I have for part one. Love this. Look, the DVD with the classic art. It says widescreen at the bottom from Paramount. Just classic. I love it. Let's show you guys with the little, uh, little curveball here. How about the TV series on DVD? All three seasons. This came out from Walmart at Walmart uh, maybe four years ago, four or five years ago. Actually, might have been longer than that. 2016. What a... Wow. <laughs> that was 2022, 2021, 2020. 2019, 2018, 2017, 20, seven years ago. Holy crap. Well, there you go. I like the TV show, guys. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, and before that, I actually bought this. This was the TV show that you could get with uh, individual seasons, which I really liked. So. Next up, guys, what everybody probably has or should have, should have uh, the second greatest box set in the world. I think that Rambo 4K box set. Well, I think the Nightmare on Elm Street DVD box set is the best, but this is close. This is the Friday the 13th Blu-ray box set that Scream Factory put out. Still, sometimes when I look at it, I think it doesn't look real because of how just insane it is that we have this. Uh, but this is still the best way to watch these movies to this day. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's still available, which is shocking. So listen, if you're watching this video and you haven't gotten this, go out of your way. Like, don't wait too much longer. There's going to be a time where it goes out of print. It, it will. It just will. I know it. And I, I don't want you to miss out if you're a fan. I really don't. Now, after the Scream Factory box set came out, Paramount would use the new scans for the first four films and uh, use their previous Blu-ray releases uh, for the 5, 6, 7, and 8 and release their own collections because they know that these titles sell. So here was the Steelbook version of 1 through 8 that came out after the Scream Factory box set came out with Roy Burns in the back and a Jason Takes Manhattan look on the front. And that was the Steelbook version, but they also put out a, a regular version at the time that I got this for 20 bucks. It went on sale during Christmas time. And I remember telling people about it. A few people managed to get it before it went back to the regular price of like 50 But this is the Red Case version, which I actually like too. You know, so these are very special to me. I mean, they just kind of signify that this ser Jason, just like the series on physical media, it, it won't ever die. It just won't. It won't ever die, guys. Uh, we then got Friday the 13th on 4K a year ago, I think, and um, I like this 4K. I mean, some people complain about its darkness. I think maybe there's a chance it's just how this movie looked when it came out. You know, we are the computer generation, video game generation now. I think we're used to 
everything looking such a certain way, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are right, but I don't know. I like this 4K, and the more I watch it, the more I begin, the more I grow to like it. And speaking of 4K as well, you know, they did a steelbook version of the movie on 4K uh, with the same kind of art as the uh, Blu-ray, but it came with the waxwork slipcover, which, um, as a collector of the series, if you haven't figured that out by watching this, like, 40-minute video, not that long, I collect the series on physical media. It's a passion of mine. Um, it's one of the greatest f great franchises ever. I take so much pride and, and love collecting these movies and cataloging these movies. Now, this was a a, uh, a movie collection that came out while the Blu-rays, the Blu-ray version of this set came out, which I actually don't own that Blu-ray set with this this cover with the Blu-ray slip cover. I need to grab that. But this was just an over like an overstock kind of budget sampler that they would put out uh and you can get these pretty cheap and you know look it's just got your movies in here you know uh i got this for like 15 bucks and i was like let me just get it for the collection so you know don't put a lot of miles on that thing anymore and last but not least the classic crystal lake to manhattan box set how do you not love this i got mine used at a used dvd store i lucked out it's got one through eight just classic i love it absolutely adore this guys i mean this this thing's everything to me you know look at those look at that artwork on that oh, i just can't how do you beat that how do you beat that mm. there you go guys listen happy halloween we had a friday the 13th this month so it's fitting that jason got another day on halloween at least on my channel you know, I got some great things coming up. Gonna be doing a lot of cool physical media videos. Gonna be going then in the next week or so. I'm gonna be going over what I think the best 4K releases of the year are. Uh, I'm gonna be going what I think the best box sets of the year are so far. Um, I'm gonna be talking. I'm gonna do some videos on funny physical media packaging, the best physical media packaging, the worst physical media packaging. There will always be. I'm gonna say this. I, did, I made a post about this, and I'm gonna say it here. There will always, and I mean always be a home for Friday the 13th on this channel till the very end this series is the greatest these movies are everything and the fans just like Jason we won't go away and we won't die Friday the 13th is without a doubt one of the best I love it I know you love it because you're watching this video uh, hopefully you're looking at some of those triggered some memories for you. God knows they just make me relax. They make me happy. Friday the 13th is everything. It is everything to me. Happy Halloween, guys. Remember, later this evening today when this video is uploaded, turn the bell on. I'm going to go live and do a round or so on the video game. Happy Halloween. Huge, giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind-the-scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.